what's going on youtube come back at you with another video okay so first of all let me start by saying this is not new news this is actually old i'm bringing it to you because i thought it was an interesting story that a lot of people out there probably never heard and also the fact that jim jones name is buzzing right now why not take the opportunity to bring you this story. So basically, this story is about Rod Diggs and the night when they allegedly were going to go do harm to Jim Jones. So basically, what's been reported, and this came from the New York Daily Press, and also um, this was reported from an actual witness who was a part of this whole situation. Rod Diggs goes to Jim Jones' studio. He was basically kicked out. Jim Jones is reported as saying, quote, take that blood shit outside then it's reported that rod diggs broke a glass door ended up leaving later that night though they knew jim jones was going to be at sue's rendezvous which is in mount vernon new york rod diggs and some of his people show up they come in the, the spot um the dj sees rod diggs announces rod diggs is in the building Jim Jones apparently hears the DJ, lays eyes on Rod Diggs, and is reported as looking like he's seen a ghost. So Jim Jones um, saw Rod Diggs. Apparently, he was able to leave. Jim Jones made it out the building safe. But later, what was reported is Rod Diggs' enforcer, whose name is Tremaine Cakes Patterson, was looking for an eye signal from Rod Diggs to shoot Jim Jones. So Jim Jones escaped this situation with his life, and the Rod Diggs story did not end well for him. He was indicted in multiple different counts. He got 12 life sentences. Actually, one of the most interesting parts of this case, and there was a lot of interesting parts, was the fact that Rod Diggs' lyrics were used against him in this indictment, which was like groundbreaking. This had basically never happened before where somebody's lyrics were used as evidence against them. He actually, during trial or after he blew trial, I should say, um, appealed it and claimed his rights were violated because prosecutors shouldn't have been allowed to use the lyrics. One of the songs referenced was called live by the gun with waka flaka he has some lyrics in there about somebody shot him five times two days later that dude died something along those lines and um they used it against him and basically was part of making this conviction so the video this is what the district attorney was saying or the prosecutor in regards to rod diggs appeal the videos offered as evidence of Haran's participation in the charged conspiracies and crimes, his position as a leader of the MMDB, which is murderous mad dog bloods, his familiarity with firearms in the drug trade, and his relationship to certain cooperating witnesses are plainly relevant. So the DA um, you know, arguing that using the lyrics made perfect sense based on the situation that the lyrics actually coincided with these real acts and Rod Diggs lost his appeal. He's now residing in Admax in Colorado, which is basically like the worst place you could ever be. It's hell on earth. 23 hour lockdown, no kind of interaction with other people. You're by yourself all the time. Um, I, it's like complete solitary too. You don't even hear people through the walls type shit is what I've heard. And, um, this is where high profile people go. So Rod Diggs, unfortunately, and I'm going to be honest with you, rap wise, skill wise, there was nobody really authenticity wise. There was not really many people out there fucking with Rod Diggs in, in the rap world. And to me, honestly, if not number one, Rod Diggs is number two. Rod Diggs and Stack Bundles are my number one and my number two 
favorite rappers of all time. And without question, Rod Diggs had so much talent and so much ability to be something great. He was a genius. He was very smart, very well spoken. He had a large um, vocabulary. Like he was just really an all around impressive dude. And it's sad to see the way his situation turned out. If you're not familiar with Rod Diggs music, definitely take some time and go listen to his shit because there's nobody else out there really fucking with him and that's just what it is but let me know what you guys think about this whole story about jim jones leaving with his life from sue's rendezvous when allegedly or apparently rod diggs was going to shoot him or have him shot leave some feedback in the comments i appreciate you watching hit the like subscribe share Make sure you ring the notification bell. If you like these kind of story videos too, definitely leave some feedback and um, I'll definitely do more of them for you. I appreciate you watching. Peace.